Hi, my name is Jared, and this is Horror Obsession. Tomorrow is Halloween, which means there are only two more movies in Horror October. I have a few movies I rewatch every single year in my build up to Halloween, slots reserved for only the absolute best of the best in the horror genre. Today's movie is. Cabin in the Woods, 2011, directed by Drew Goddard and written by Drew Goddard and Joss Whedon. Goddard and Whedon had previously worked together as writers on Buffy and Angel, and they got together to make Cabin in the Woods as an attempt to simultaneously revitalize the slasher genre and as a critical satire of torture porn, feeling the emphasis on brutal, disturbing violence in horror movies had gone too far. The overall concept of the movie is to show that the audience's expectations of extreme violence were why they were included in horror movies, and to show that the creators of these movies were not the sick ones, but the audience themselves. Goddard and Whedon wrote the movie in three days, an incredible feat considering how well constructed the end result ended up being. Goddard was chosen to direct, and though he had never directed a movie before, he had already won a WGA award for Best Dramatic Series for Lost, and had written Cloverfield for J.J. Abrams a few years prior. He would go on to be the executive producer and showrunner for the Daredevil television series, and to date, the only other movie he has directed was Bad Times at the El Royale, another fantastically constructed movie which I absolutely adore. Alright, so enough about Goddard, what's going on with Cabin in the Woods? The movie starts out showing Richard Jenkins and Bradley Whitford, as two blue-collar guys discussing menial household topics, such as Whitford's wife putting child locks on their cabinets despite them not having their first child yet. Amy Acker is with the chem department, and mentions that Stockholm has failed, leaving just Japan and the US, but without an explanation of what this means. Next, we get introduced to our main cast of attractive young people, including Thor playing the dumb jock, Kurt, Kristen Connolly as the naive girl Dana, Jesse Williams as the academic Holden, Fran Kranz as Marty the stoner, and Anna Hutchison as Jules. Cabin in the Woods is all about taking these traditional stereotypical roles and subverting them. For example, Jules has just dyed her hair blonde and comes to talk to Dana about her getting over her breakup with one of their professors. She is disgusted by the fact Dana is planning on bringing textbooks to the lake house when Kurt walks in. Kurt sees Jules with the books and, well, just watch. What are these? What are you doing with these? Okay, I get it. I'll leave the no, books. No, no. Who gave you these? Who taught you about these? I learned it from you. Okay. I learned him from watching you! In case you didn't know, this is a reference to an anti-drug PSA called Like Father, Like Son. You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Alright, so Cabin in the Woods is extremely aware of the horror movie tropes and expectations of the audience, and Goddard and Whedon see the early implementation of the slasher rules about anyone who has sex, drinks alcohol, or does drugs being killed off by the villain as being an anti-drug PSA in its own right. They immediately acknowledge that with this line, and then laugh it off as the ridiculous moral grandstanding it is. At the same time, Kurt then shows Dana which textbook she should bring, and goes on to describe her professor's preferences for patients papers, indicating he is not actually the dumb jock, but is very intelligent, and as we find out later, is on full academic scholarship. Whedon and Goddard continue along this trajectory, showing Marty as being an irresponsible stoner. In the backseat, screaming out loud. In the backseat, screaming out. Marty? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? People in this town drive in a very counterintuitive manner. Okay. And you will bind them with ancient logics. Have you gone gray? You're not bringing that thing in the Rambler. Good. A giant bomb in your father's van? What are you, stone? Alright, a couple things. The way Marty shuts his door, then locks it through the open window, and then checks the door handle to make sure it's locked even though the window is still open just cracks me up. Kurt and Jules are upset he thinks he can bring the bong with them, but of course it folds up, serving as a physical subversion of expectation and setting the stage for the rest of the movie doing the same. Alright, and that's about all you need to know about this movie's setup. Cabin in the Woods is a highly intelligent, self-aware, extremely well-constructed masterpiece 
piece of horror satire that manages to perfectly nail the most important thing for horror comedy. The movie needs to be funny and scary. While I love Shaun of the Dead and it's one of my favorite movies, it very much is just a comedy with a horror setting. Cabin in the Woods and movies like Scream both manage to be hysterical while at the same time having scenes and moments that would not feel out of place at all in a traditional horror. The acting is very, very good, especially Fran Kranz, but also Richard Jenkins and Bradley Whitford who play the sarcastic, jaded middle management employees brilliantly. The whole movie serves as an allegory for the movie making process itself, as I discussed previously. Without going into spoilers, we the audience are the villains, with our expectations of death and violence galvanizing the entire plot. Does it really matter if we see We're him? not the only ones watching, Ken. Gotta keep the customer satisfied. You understand what's at stake here. Whereas the creators of the movie slash cabin situation are merely keeping the customer satisfied. Alright, and that's the recommendation for October 30th, and check back in tomorrow for the final recommendation of Horror October, the movie I watch every single year on Halloween day, and for my money, best encapsulates everything I love about horror movies and Halloween in general.